Welcome to Iron Arrows. Garden tour Sunday morning. Okay, we'll say it's almost the end of springtime and so I'm just gonna do a little walk through. I'll start back here. Cucumbers are doing amazing. I planted them too close. I got greedy. <laughs> so I've gone through and kind of put them up. Um, I need to do that again. I did that a few days ago. Peppers and tomatoes look amazing. Tomatoes are doing so well. I'll show you some, some of these. It's hard to see what I'm showing you because it's so sunny out, but they just, they're like, really? Can you guys see that? There's just like eight tomatoes <laughs> right there. So yay, lots of tomatoes. I was picking them off and throwing them to the chickens just to encourage growth. So maybe that worked. I've done the same with the peppers and those all look great. So these are my successes <laughs> and that bed, that's a success. Over here, mulch, we've had to work on this and they're the same age, but we've had to work on them. So we're still working, we're still working, we're getting there. Uh, most of this bed has gone to seed. The lettuce looks good. It's probably about to go to seed. So the seeds are right here, the little seed pods. You guys see, they look like little beans. So I think this was arugula and we have spinach. So you can pull these out and just save them. And so I'm gonna do that. I've pulled some out, big old sunflower, zinnia, volunteers everywhere. So everything that goes to flower goes to seed. You can uh, save it, dry it out and use it next year. I think unless it's a hybrid and then you, you're not gonna know what you're gonna get. Some gladiolas. I planted these, I got them at the Dollar Tree last year. They're little bulbs, so they grow underground and they stay there. Um, perennials, I guess they're called. The marigolds. So I pulled some of the turnips and radishes out of this area, and I planted a zucchini there and a zucchini there, and they'll spread out, they'll get huge, and they'll pretty much touch. My potato bed, I still need to take one tomato out because there's a tomato plant you can see it needs to come out but the potatoes are looking good I have a volunteer barrage here right there I moved a basil over to my pepper bed because I planted all these peppers and they're not really growing I've added fertilizer and poo and they're just kind of stunted so I don't know if I should put something let me know if you guys have experience with cinder block I don't know if I should put something between the dirt and the cinder block. Like the cinder block is maybe pulling all the moisture out. Um, I don't know what to do. So we switched to cinder blocks because wood, we were using untreated wood and it just falls apart. Look at this one, this one has mold, like white mildew on it or something. Let me show you this other one. This one has rotted. So this was too high. That's the top one, I just pulled it off. So. I might need to, I mean, this was less than two years old. I might need to put wax on untreated wood. I don't really want to use treated wood. I don't know if we can afford cedar everywhere. So decisions, decisions. These are flowers in the front, peppers, bigger peppers, and then beans. Our corn is crazy. So we planted these maybe five weeks ago and they did pretty well. Then we planted this bed and nothing came up. And then we planted this bed, nothing came up. I think we planted both at the same time. And then we went through and planted this again. And then this, we added a little bit of potting soil to that one. They're kind of coming up. And then I think I planted this a third time. I don't know, I've lost track. And then I planted another row right here the other day. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know if anything's gonna come up over here. So I might try again, or I might plant something else. We'll see. As you can see, we got a little haircut here. We mowed the grass. Well, we as in my son. <laughs> Raspberries are coming in again. I picked a bunch the other day, but they're starting to come in. We need to clear this area. Blueberries are coming in. Bunnies are in the new cage. So, and then over here, I planted some tomatoes. Yesterday I replanted from a different spot. So I kind of have them shaded right now, just to give them a break. Uh, I watered them just like at the root. 
this morning. So these are all transplanted tomatoes. So, and then there's oregano and thyme. So just trying to do the best. These, I mean, these tomatoes up on the fence look so good. So at least we have something, but I love to can. So, you know, I want to get as much as I can for salsa and canned tomatoes. This is basically flowers and herbs. It was mostly herbs. And the zinnias reseeded themselves from last year and took over. There was a lot of dill back here. <laughs> There's a little bit of dill. There's a little bit of dill mixed in. This is holy basil. And some of these things are new. So calendula. I had a cabbage that I ripped out. I'm going to rip this other cabbage out. And then my crazy mulch bed. So yeah, that's our little garden tour over here. Oh, let's go over. We call this Shep's garden. I planted some more beans down here. So this is strawberries, beans, parsley that's gone to seed, beans and garlic and onion back there. Um, one thing we did do last night is add the plastic. So that'll be nice. So we're gonna put mulch on top of that. So we'll have a pathway, or I guess it's not called plastic, it's called fabric. We got really thick fabric. I think it's five millimeters on Amazon. So I've had the thinner stuff before, but this, it has like a felt back. So I'm hoping it'll stand up to the weeds a little better than the other stuff that I've used. This is just for pathway. And actually like where we've planted with it, has done the best out of most of our plants. So I think it attracts the heat. Obviously it's black, it attracts the heat and it keeps the soil warm. That must be what it does because look at these. This is where we do, do the fabric and it's just so successful. I have a couple more spots I can plant some things. I'm totally out of soil. Our compost has ants in it. So I might run and get some soil and put another start, couple starts in there, have some herbs from my friend Kristen that I need to plant. So, yeah, so if you see any of your plants go to seed like this, just, I rip it out by the root, let it dry, and then you could peel these open or whatever. Shake them into a big paper bag and label it. And if anything, you have mystery fall or mystery spring and fall seeds, because you know a lot of these seeds look alike. These um, cool weather ones, they're just like these little tiny, tiny little BBs inside there. <laughs> and like turnips and radishes and kale, they all look the same. They're just so small. But you know what? You can just sprinkle them in your cool weather bed and we have these hoops so we can cover it if it gets below like 32 at night and then we just uncover it and you'll have a garden in the winter. At least something fresh with vitamins to eat. So yeah, happy gardening. Let me know what you're doing in your garden and we'll catch you on the next one. This is Iron Arrows signing out.